Yeah. So as churches, as um, community institutions, as members of communities, as members of churches, as uh, fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, neighbors, yeah. friends, friends. Mm -hmm. where do we put our energy in trying to help the people that are feeling hopeless, that are feeling disconnected, yeah. that are feeling like they got left behind? Where do we put the energy? Is it just in the intentionality of every interaction as we walk through life? Or is it really doubling down on those relationships and doing the work of checking in with people, doing the work mm -hmm. of, you know, going to get coffee with that person that you haven't gone to, you know, you haven't seen in some months or going to dinner mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. the relational work that we've gotten out of the habit of since the pandemic. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's very important to intentionally as, as communities of, of people who who say we care to really intentionally practice that, you know, to to find ways to go, as you just said, to to say to those people, let's spend some time together. Hmm. Let's visit with each other. Um I, th I think it's it's really important that we find uh, ways to educate ourselves related to mental health. I mentioned mental health first day. There's some other methods, <clears throat> and you can do a lot working on the internet on your own with yeah. a lot of this. Um, there are uh, suicide prevention sites that are quite a few of them that are valid and <clears throat> and helpful. And, and the knowledge base is not anything that any any particular method o owns. You know, they they don't have a copyright on uh, on the knowledge base here that's yeah. important. Yeah, like that thing I said earlier about always being direct about the question. Everybody who works with suicide prevention, for instance, will say the same thing: be direct. Don't hedge around. Don't mm -hmm. don't beat around the bush. Be direct. Ask, are you thinking about killing yourself? Are you thinking about suicide? That's a universal. But we we really, from whatever source, I think can can really benefit from educating ourselves more. And in the community sense, I think that's where it helps to take advantage of some of the training opportunities that are out there, whether it's the more formal ones, more complex ones, but also can be like like we're doing right here mm -hmm. of having somebody who has some experience in the field, uh, professional people out of professional backgrounds who've worked with us before uh, to come in to our church groups and talk to us about this, to uh, to do the work on the Internet, to learn for ourselves as individuals. There are many ways to do that. I think intentionally educating ourselves about some of the, uh, the signs, the symptoms, um, what to look for, how to intervene, um, just that educating ourselves uh, more about interviewing people. <laughs> you know, yeah. how do you sit down and talk to somebody mm -hmm. where you're really listening? We already know you care, or you wouldn't be here, <laughs> here right, even wanting right. to talk about it, right? right? Okay, if you care, what do you need to do to, one, uh, deal with your own emotions about it? Because you're going to get into some tough, tough subjects. Yeah. But and and really uh, recognizing that if you let your emotions run wild, when oh my gosh they're talking about killing themselves, oh I you know I can't I can't tolerate. Mm -hmm. Well you know even even in a lot of the training, uh, I remember I worked with a, a different uh, training group called QPR, and this is a good training uh, experience too, just on suicide prevention. Question, persuade, refer. You can find that one too uh, mm -hmm. online. Yeah. Some of these things, all they have courses online that you can take. QPR said, if you can't ask the question, find somebody who can. <laughs> you know, yeah. you care, but you're just like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Find somebody who can ask the question if you can't. Yeah. You recognize this is a problem and I, I need to get, somebody needs to ask the question. But we need to deal with our own emotions about it. And one thing that I think is so important, Michael, and this is true whether one's a layperson in the mental health field or a professional, is I can't be responsible for this person's life. 
Yeah, that's huge. We can't save everybody. Mm -hmm. As a layperson, as a professional, I've been in situations, I didn't have any of my clients to do this, but I've known therapists whose clients did complete suicide. They, they took their own lives. And sometimes we have to realize, and it's parts of humility, you know, it's like mm -hmm. we are not gods. We are human beings, and all we can do is be as compassionate and caring as we can possibly be. Mm -hmm. That person has decisions that they make that I cannot control. It's not about this is you. not a control situation. Yeah. This is a compassionate, caring, connecting kind of a situation where if I want to show care, that's what I need to do, rather than thinking I can go in and control this. Gotta be side by side.